In this video, let's learn how to apply pretension to bolted joints. First, let's import a model. As soon as the model is imported, SimSolid would prompt to create automatic connections. We will use the default gap and penetration tolerances to create automatic connections. Before setting the model up for analysis, let's review the model. The assembly contains 33 parts with four bolts and four nuts recognized. You can also review the bolts and nuts by right clicking on the assembly and then picking show bolts. Similarly, you could also show nuts to review them. Appropriate contact conditions have been created as well. By default, SimSolid would create sliding type of contact at the bolt shanks represented using yellow point cloud and rest of the joints are all connected with bonded contact represented by red point cloud. Since we have connections created, let's go ahead and run some analysis, create a structural linear analysis, apply a constraint and immovable support on the two back faces then apply pretension to the nuts in the model. Use a tread pitch of 1.2 millimeters and apply a total number of nut turns uh, to be one. You can also apply pretension using a torque value or using a target axial force. For this video, we're gonna use number of nut turns and run analysis. Get a warning that the materials have not been assigned. I'm gonna assign steel material to all the parts in the assembly. Some solid quickly ran the analysis. You can look at the displacements, animated to see the effect of bolt pretension in the model. You could also review the forces going through the bolted joint. You can simply pick bolt or nut resultant forces. And SimSolid tells you the axial force at the head, the shear forces, the bending moments. Thank you.